In this video, we'll be looking at a very useful routine in the Trimble Business Center software called Create CAD Points from Scan Points. And you can use this to generate a number of CAD entities from a point cloud, which can then be easily exported from TBC into third-party software where you can manipulate those and do a variety of functions. In TBC, if you team that up with the Create from CAD routine, you can quickly generate a number of three-dimensional position coordinates, which can also then be exported out as a CSV file and brought into uh, third-party software to create surfaces and contours and a whole variety of other things. So we're going to look at how to do that in this video and uh, add that to our uh, our bag of uh, capabilities. So uh, to begin with, what I've got is I've got a street intersection that was collected with an SX10 scanning total station. I think there's four scans that were uh, used for this. And uh, this was a live intersection, so there were pedestrians and vehicles coming and going and stuff. Um, let me uh, switch over from a plan view into a 3D view. So let me go ahead and switch on over here. I guess I was in a 3D view there. Um, but uh, let me zoom in a little bit and we'll kind of rotate around and tilt a little bit. Now I have up my Project Explorer on the left hand side as well as my View Filter Manager here. So you can kind of see what's going on. But the routine that we're going to be doing actually has two rather distinct parts. The first is a routine called Create CAD Points from Scan Points and that's going to be hiding under the Point Cloud drop-down. And the second part is to create from CAD, which is under the CAD drop-down. So uh, to begin with, just to get kind of get a sneak preview, let me click on Point Clouds here. And on the far right, under the Deliverables section, you'll see in the upper right a number of icons, but this one is the Create CAD Points from Scan Points. Let me go ahead and bring that up here. And you'll see that the first thing that they're looking for is they're looking for us to select our scan point. So if you happen to have a very, very clean scan without a lot of different uh, little remnants or fragments that might create erroneous coordinates, you could pretty much go right in here right now and uh, either using this, uh, the polygon select or the rectangle select tool, start uh, selecting out a section of your scan points. In this case, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to create a region of my area of interest. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to classify that region to extract the ground from it. And that's going to help me remove out all of these little bits and pieces of vehicles and pedestrians and all this other stuff that's going on. And then once I've done that, uh, and I've cleaned out any other little remnant fragments and stuff. We'll come on back and then we'll get back into this create CAD points from scan points. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the audio and then I'm going to kind of fast forward through uh, the next couple steps and we'll come back and pick up where we left off. So stand by. we're back. So we've created a nice clean point cloud without a bunch of problematic objects. And so now we're going to go to work and create our CAD entity. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and go up the upper right, as we mentioned before, grab that create CAD points from scan points. We'll give that a second to open up and it's asking us to select our stuff. Now I could just drag a big box around this, but I think I'll go ahead and go over to the project explorer. I'm going to go ahead and select my ground that way. You'll see it's highlighted. 
Next thing it's asking me for is a sampling type, and I can choose from either spatial or random. If I choose random, this gives me an opportunity to select the number of points I might want to extract from this, but it gives me less control over the spacing and the location of those points. So I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the spatial option instead. And it uh, looks like the last time I used this, I had five feet, and I'm just fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab five feet. Now, it won't make uh, CAD entities exactly at five feet. TBC is going to use the actual point cloud dots themselves. So some may be a little bit larger, some may be a little smaller than five feet, but as much as possible, it's going to go ahead and try to hold on to that spacing. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a layer here. So I think I'm going to just kind of call this my CAD point layer. So let me hit enter on that and close out my layer control thing. And I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And this thing's going to grind through. You can see the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. But when we're done, you'll see a little bunch of little white dots. And those are going to be those CAD entities. Now, you could export these out as is. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to close out of this routine. And I'm going to isolate those CAD entities by turning off my scans. And now we can see what we've got here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to generate a bunch of three-dimensional position coordinates for these. So this, uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and go into the second part of this routine, which is clicking the CAD drop-down up top. And in this case, I'm going to select the Create from CAD option. I'm actually clicking on the icon above this. It's asking me to select what it is that I want to uh, create points from. Because I put these on a layer, I'm going to go ahead and select the Options group here to the right. I'm going to hit Select by Layer and just grab my CAD points. You'll see those got highlighted. And the next order of business is to go ahead and select this box that says CAD points and mesh vertices. So that's what I'm looking for in this routine. I have the option to create grid only points and you may be wondering what that is. Uh, basically it is if you have a project that's already set to some sort of real world coordinate system like UTM or state plane coordinates, this would also allow the software to create uh, points for your latitudes and longitudes and any kind of local grid points that you might have as well. So because this is just a local points job, I'm not worried about that. I'll just leave it checked on and that'll be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and specify a starting point ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a number called 3000 here. And, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put these on a new layer and uh, call it whatever I want, but maybe I'm just going to call these road points. And we'll close that out. And pretty much I'm good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply down here. You're going to see a progress bar go through. And with any luck at all, it's going to create. Oops, I thought I hit apply. Let's try again there. And uh, a little over a thousand points here in just a matter of a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this dialog box. It kind of looks like nothing happened right now. And you may be kind of disappointed. But because I turned off my raw data earlier, and points are part of that raw data. You're not seeing those yet, but let me turn my raw data back on. And now you can see all those point IDs that we just generated. So, so this would be analogous to actually going out in the, in the street with, uh, and taking a shot virtually every five feet, walking back and forth. So we just did that in a fraction of the time. So what we'd like to do now is we'd like to just go ahead and export this data out as a CSV file and take a quick look at, um, at what we've got here. So, so uh, let's do that. So uh, in keeping with the usual export routines in TBC, what we can do is we can just simply go up to the Home drop-down tab. We can select Export. And there's a variety of different export options here, but I'm going to go ahead and select the custom export option because they have a point number northing easting elevation code routine already in that. I'm going to select my data, and again, because I put that on layer, makes it really easy for me here to just grab my road points. And then I'm going to go ahead, and because I've selected my road points, we're going to get right back into this routine. They're all selected. So I'm going to go ahead and change my file name to Esco Street road points 
and this is going to create a CSV file. And I think in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put those on my desktop and go ahead and pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to pull the trigger by hitting export here. And with any luck at all, I'm going to create about 1100 grid coordinates here in just a moment. So we'll let that do its magic. We'll take a quick look, just spot check that. And that should pretty much bring us to the end of our routine. So let's take a quick look and click off of that. Let's look at my desktop here and let's see if this is my Esco Street Road points. Looks like it might just be. So we'll give that a second for Excel to open it up. We'll take a quick spot inspection and see where we are. There it goes. All right. So there's our starting point number at 3,000. These were based on a 5,000, 10,000 grid coordinate system. But you can kind of see what we've got here. And I can scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now one thing I didn't do that I probably could have done is when I created those CAD points, or excuse me, when I created those coordinates, is I could have also uh, specified a feature code, just forgot to do that. But uh, but you can do that when, when uh, you're creating it and you should be in good shape. So uh, with any luck at all, that should help you moving ahead. And until next time, have a great day.